Did you know that ChatGPT launched AI search? Hey guys, my name is Vlad and I'm really happy to see all of you again today. ChatGPT launched AI search and in today's video, I want to compare ChatGPT search versus perplexity AI search. If you want to know, if you want to see the result, please watch this video till the end. If you are ready, then let's get started. About a month ago, OpenAI promised to launch ChatGPT search, and here we go. ChatGPT search is available now. 31st of October, OpenAI introduced ChatGPT search to the public, and now we can try and see if it's a good replacement for Google search or perplexity AI. In today's video, I will compare these two AI tools and see which one is better. If you are interested, then watch this video till the end. Let me open ChatGPT and Perplex TI side by side to compare the search results. I will try to do different searches and see the result from both AI tools. Okay, let's try my first prompt. I will ask Perplex in ChatGPT, tell me about proflead.dev website. It's my website. And let's see for the results. Don't forget to turn on search by clicking on this icon and then hit enter. In perplexity, you can turn on pro mode and select web, then hit the enter. So let's see the result. Both of these AI really fast. As you could see, ChatGPT already gave me the answer and perplexity also gave me the answer. So let's compare the result. Overall, both of these results are quite accurate. However, I would probably describe this website in a different way because it's not a platform, it's just personal blog, but overall not so bad. As you could see, we can see the sources for the information, some pictures, and also some follow-up questions from Perplexity. So five sources from Perplexity. Sources are also available in ChatGPT as well. ChatGPT has more sources than Perplexity, but in current exercise, it didn't affect the result. One of the main difference between ChatGPT search and Perplexity search is that inside Perplexity, you can select different AI models, ChatGPT models, Laudi models, and others. Let me change the model and see the result from Perplexity again. For example, I will select Cloudy Sonnet and let's look at the result now. As you could see, result is changed. So it gives good first description. It states that it's personal block, so it's good. But then seems to start add up some information because this website is not made on PHP and MySQL. So it's not 100% accurate. I would say both AI passed this test, but with perplexity, you have a little bit more advantage in terms of choosing different models. For instance, if you know that some models is good about writing, you can select that model. While with ChatGPT, you can use only their models. Okay, let's try another test. This time I will ask, suggest for me some restaurant in Chiang Mai. It's a city in Thailand. And let's see for the results. As you could see, both AI is working pretty fast. And here are the results. Wow, it's quite impressive. Both tools provide you the map with the locations of the restaurants. So cool. I would say in this instance, ChatGPT is winning because the map look more descriptive and the results are quite good because it's tried to pull the information from different websites and not just focusing on one website. Inside ChatGPT, the map looks really good. You can click on different locations, and it will show you different descriptions. If you click on the source link, you will see all the sources. So cool. Let's click at Perplexity map. This is the result from Perplexity, but unfortunately map isn't loaded. So maybe some bug there. Or maybe I have a bad connection. So as you could see, both AI took the information from various sources, not only one website, and it's really important. The things that I like inside the perplexity is gives you follow-up questions. So you can use that follow-up questions to get deeper information. 
And I think sometimes it's really important. Okay, let's try with real time questions. I will ask about weather in Chiang Mai and air condition. And as you could see, in this instance, perplexity has better graphic. It provides me nice picture about weather and additional information for other days. ChatGPT is also quite descriptive, and it's also telling me about air quality, where the perplexity ignore this question. Okay, let's try another real-time question. I will ask about the traffic in Chiang Mai now, and let's see the results. So definitely with this task, ChatGPT did pretty well, because perplexity is using some information about two, three weeks ago about flood condition. It's not things that is happening right now in Chiang Mai. So I would say ChatGPT is really winning this test. However, I believe you can fix the result by choosing different AI model. Okay, let's try both AI with programming questions. I will ask them about JavaScript and let's see for the results. So I would say ChatGPT gives more concise answer and the answer is correct one. Perplexity also gives correct answer with deeper explanations. I will ask one more follow-up questions on this topic and see how they can handle it. So in this instance, the result should be true. So let's see, ChatGPT and perplexity. Cited and seems both of them give the correct answer. Perfect. As you can see, the answer for ChatGPT is more concise and answer for perplexity is a bit more descriptive. Both of them passed this test. Let's try to ask follow-up question again to see how they can handle the context in general. I will ask them to provide me the link where you can learn about this topic in depth. Okay, let's see the result. Okay, cool. Both AI give me the links where I can learn the topic in depth. So I would say they handle this task really well. Okay, let me ask ChatGPT what does it know about perplexity AI? And perplexity AI, I will ask what does it know about ChatGPT search AI? Very interesting to see the result. Probably for ChatGPT it will be easier because perplexity already well know AI search, but for perplexity it will be a bit more complicated because ChatGPT just released a day ago. However, both of these AI can handle these questions pretty well. As you could see, perplexity provide different links for video, articles, different images regarding the topic. So it's handled this question really well. ChatGPT gives you mostly text information without any images or videos. However, I believe maybe inside the source they could be videos or images. Or maybe not images, but at least videos. Okay, let's try a few last questions. Again, I will try to use question that's related to real-time information. For example, I will ask what is the Apple stock prices right now? And let's see the results. In this instance, ChatGPT gives us just plain text, while Sparoplexity provides us some chart and graphic. So we can see how stock price wars change in the past. Definitely visually, it's more better inside Sparoplexity. As you could see, both of these tools are really cool. It doesn't matter what you choose. Depend on your preference, you can choose ChatGPT or Proplex AI because right now the difference is not that big. So if you like this video, please click like. If you don't like this video, it's okay. Share with me your feedback and comments below. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch my other videos. I hope to see you in my next videos too. Bye bye.